There are many ways to represent the work we do with diagrams. Process maps show workflow and come in many varieties. Most process maps are high-level, single-line flows that show a fairly simplified view of a process. They help us get a general understanding of that process. This video focuses on the Gram process method for creating detailed process maps. Gram process maps provide us with enough information to make knowledgeable, informed decisions about the process. They tell us what happened to every document in the process. They tell us who does the work and where the work is done. They tell us when the work occurs and show the relationships between documents. They show the handoffs. They show where decisions are made. They show every customer interaction and every time information changes. Each document or item in a process is represented as its own horizontal line. Each line begins with a label that identifies the item. The actions and periods of non-activity that happen to a document are placed on that document's line in sequence. If you want to know what items are in a process, read the labels. If you want to know what happens to a particular document, read the symbols along that document line. When do you think companies first started using a structured method to map their processes? If you are under the impression that process mapping got its start in the 90s, the 80s, or even the 70s, you'd still be off by about half a century. Frank and Lillian Gilbreth introduced American management to a structured method for documenting workflow at the 1921 meeting of the American Society of Mechanical Engineers. In 1946, ANSI adopted an evolved Gilbreth methodology as the standard for process charts. ASME adopted the same standard in 1947. This set of process mapping symbols has been around for some time. The roots are securely planted in the scientific management work of Frank and Lillian Gilbreth and other pioneers in the development of process improvement methods. These are the four basic symbols into which all work can be categorized in detail. While many drawing packages pride themselves in offering a multitude of symbols, the method built around this set prides itself in being concise yet complete. The beauty lies in the design, simple yet comprehensive. The circle represents when work is done. We call it an operation. As a memory cue, Think of the circle as an O for operation. The square represents an inspection. Checking work to see if it's right. Your memory crutch here? The right angles of the square. The arrow represents transportation. When work moves from one location to another. And the triangle represents storage or delay when nothing is happening to the work. There are also four more variations of doing work that round out this symbol set. The solid circle is called a do operation and shows process value added in manufacturing processes. It shows a physical change to the item in the flow, say a part, as that item is sanded or drilled or painted, in some way changed to take it one step closer to being a completed part. With information processes, we use two symbols to show value added. The bullseye, or origination symbol, shows the first time information is added to a document. Thus, a quick scan of the origination symbols on a process map will show all the documents that were created during that process. The add alter symbol, the circle with the lines through it, show all the additional changes of information on a document. The last symbol here that looks something like an electrical ground is a destroy symbol and shows when a document is thrown away, shredded, deleted. In any case, it represents the end of the process for that document. 
Now we'll take a look at each of the symbols and how they're used. The handling operation is represented with an open circle. In information processes, they represent activities that don't involve information change. Paper shuffling, sorting. They also represent keying through electronic documents and application screens. In manufacturing processes, they represent the make ready and put away tasks. In the process map snippet, you see several handling operations along with the action words associated with them. Words like displayed, saved, and exited. Handling operations are typically the most common symbol on a process map. And since they're not adding value to items being processed, they're attractive opportunities for streamlining. The do symbol is represented with a solid circle. It is used in manufacturing processes and represents a physical change to a product. It shows value added in production processes and is not used in information flows. This process map snippet is from a process in a ceramics factory. There are two do symbols representing tiles being pressed and the edges of the tiles being sanded. Although do steps are critical to the throughput of manufacturing processes, they typically account for a very small percentage of the processing time. The origination symbol looks something like a bullseye. It represents the first time information is entered on a document and shows value added in an information process. In these process map snippets, you see the origination symbols representing a copy of a customer order being made, an electronic letter being prepared by a customer, and a copy of that letter being printed. Since an origination symbol represents the first time information is entered on a document, there can be no more than one origination symbol on a process line. Also, a process line will not always have an origination symbol. Some items originate before they enter the process being mapped. The Add Alter symbol is shown as a circle with lines across it. It represents any time information is added to or changed on a document, the value added steps for an information process. It may be a date stamp, initials, a signature, or even deletion or erasure of a previous entry. In this process map snippet, you see Add Alter symbols representing identifying or explaining a problem on a document, correcting a problem on a document, and signing off on a document. The text associated with an add alter symbol may include a list of specific entries. For instance, the customer name, address, and telephone number. Transportation steps are represented with an arrow. They show movement from one work area to another. They're not used for small movements within a work area. There are three transportation steps in this short process map snippet. In each case, you see the location where the document travels to. Until you reach the next transportation step, the document hasn't left the work area. The situation where an item is passed from one person to another within a work area is sometimes mistaken as a transportation. There's an inherent confusion in this situation that associates the person change with a transportation. A transportation symbol represents a change of location beyond the immediate work area. Inspection steps are shown with a square. They represent checking work, checking the document to see if it's right and okay to continue. An inspection step is not used when checking is limited to normal conscientious work. An inspection step will typically be followed by a correction routine that shows alternative processing when the item fails the inspection. In this process map snippet, you see one inspection step where the credit card is being checked by the card reader. 
The right angles of the square remind us that the symbol represents checking to see if the item is right. There's one combination symbol we use. It's called the inspect and correct symbol, and it's the combination of an inspection symbol and an add alter symbol. It represents instances of editing work, where you work through a document and make any corrections that are necessary. There may be no corrections, or there may be several. The process map snippet shows one inspect and correct step where entries into the payable system are looked over and corrected as necessary. The inspect and correct symbol takes the place of an inspection symbol followed by a correction routine that includes a correction step then loops back to the inspection step. Delay and storage steps are shown with a triangle. This symbol represents time when nothing is happening to the work. How small a period of time we choose is a matter of judgment. We should show delays that consume significant amounts of time, and this will vary for different processes. Words associated with this symbol describe duration of non-activity, say two hours, 25 minutes, or the condition that will end the non-activity, say until 8 a.m. the next day, or until receipt of the purchase order. In this process map snippet, you see a delay of unspecified time until worked and a storage of two years. In most processes, delays account for most of the processing time and are an obvious opportunity for improvement. The destroy symbol is shaped something like an electrical ground. It represents an activity that causes the item to cease to exist. Destroy steps reflect activities of purging and cleansing that are built into a system. When they're used, they'll always be the last step at the end of a flow line. In the process map snippet, you see the restriction requirements document is discarded after it's used, and that's the end of the restriction requirements flow line. Destruction of items is typically given less attention than it deserves. As a result, bureaucracies wind up with massive accumulations of non-essential and duplicate records. There you have it, a not-so-quick run through a superb set of symbols used to describe process with enough detail to stimulate decisions that make sense. Learn more about the language of process at processchart.com.